So guys, the people watching this video and the whole Rockstar community are so happy that Rockstar Games has finally came out and is confirming the summer 2022 update and basically bring out a community update for all the Rockstar Games fans players. Hi guys, my name is GTA Pups here and we're going to be talking about everything that they had to say in this community update newswire regarding, you know, what fixes are coming, what kind of teases and hints are going to be coming with this theme of this update and so much more. So let's get right in to today's video. So guys, this came out yesterday on July 7th, right after the you know, new event week has come out that is going to be two weeks long and is going to be ending on July 18th, pretty much confirming that this update is going to be coming out July 19th, but Rockstar didn't officially come out and say, hey, this is when we're going to be getting the update. I believe next week we should, you know, receive something along those lines or about five, to six days before the update you know, update is set to release. But anyway, the title of this newswire was Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Online Community Update, the latest on what to come this summer and beyond. And we're going to be focusing on the GTA portion in today's video. And they say, as we look at what's in store for Rockstar Games community in the weeks and months ahead, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone for their unmatched enthusiasm and commitment to all our titles. It's your support that drives us to keep pushing forward with everything we do, and we are excited to share with you the first details around the upcoming updates and more. They go on to say, with more players than ever taking to the streets of Los Santos, thanks for the recent launches on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X slash S, we'll be working to improve the overall G2 Online experience with new gameplay updates, adding top community requests, experience improvements, and upgrades to make it easier for players to enjoy everything G2 Online has to offer. So this is basically the introduction that Rockstar, you know, is basically thanking the whole Rockstar community rockstar games community if you play g2 online if you are a red dead redemption fan basically they're thanking everyone that plays their titles they can't thank everyone enough again this is what drives them to you know make updates for the community now some people might disagree with this because their updates haven't been top notch for the last year year and a half to two years uh again we only be getting like two updates a year when I actually just looked at our older updates we were getting like three updates a year so that was actually kind of very good actually impressive that Rockstar Games was bringing the content that people loved and they basically go on to say thanking us for the first time how the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XSS versions of the game where, you know, the recent launches were so exciting. Again, more players have bought that. There's a lot of people playing G2 Online on the new systems. They're so happy with that. With Apparently, we're going to be getting some gameplay updates. I don't know what that means. Does that mean the big, you know, update themes that we're used to again apparently they're going to be adding some stuff that the community has requested maybe through their like little forums page or through the support or wherever they look at you know what the community wants in the game and of course some improvements and upgrades that are going to either make the game very good or very bad again we'll just have to see when those you know come out they also go on to say this they say in just a few short weeks a new update is coming to g2 online on all platforms that will expand upon the criminal careers of executive biker gun runner and nightclub owner alongside a set of contract missions that present the opportunity to be sworn in as a special iaa field operator operative to investigate a building criminal conspiracy so again, let's dig into this as well. It looks like we're going to be getting an update in just a few short weeks. What does that mean from Rockstar? Well, a short few weeks could be, okay, again, in two weeks, two and a half weeks to aim up for July 19th, or it could be something else that the community is not really aware of. 
But it looks like with their few hints and teases of what the next update is going to be, it looks like it is not going to be a very big theme to it. It looks like this might be a uh, Los Santos uh, summer special part two, which they're basically taking all the stuff we have now, uh, like executive biker gun runner, nightclub owner, and bringing some new stuff to that as as to some new contract missions that I don't know if the whole community is actually happy about. But the last part seems very uh, fun and can't wait to do of being sworn in as an AIAA field operative to investigate a building. That seems very interesting, so I cannot wait. They also uh, gave us two new screenshots that, again, this first one, uh, shows what to believe is a new vehicle that will be coming to GTA Online in just a few weeks. I am not sure what that vehicle variant is from real life to in-game. But it looks like we're in a cop police chase right now with, you know, a lot of explosions going on in the background. It looks like we have a... Um, uh, a vehicle from the gun running in the game as well, uh, either a teammate or a bad guy. So it kind of looks like a cops and crooks type theme, but I'm not sure we're going to be getting something like that. Maybe this is, you know, cut from that cops and crooks update. And again, the uh, next image they gave us is actually our character in that IAA mission. It looks like maybe some new clothes, uh, us wearing the badge, which looks neat. I don't think that pistol is a new weapon, but you can see over to your uh, far right side, you can see either, uh, you know, two new characters that could we could be working with in this update. I don't think they are our G2 Online characters. So again, these are only the two screenshots that Rockstar did provide it. They also go on to say this. This update will also feature some changes that have been long requested by the community, such as reducing the effectiveness of homing missiles and countermeasures on the Oppressor Mark II, offering a more convenient way to access snacks and armor and the ability to launch special cell missions in invite only sessions there are just a few of the experience improvements that will be coming this summer to g2 online as we continue to incorporate more player feedback and other learnings moving forward we'll also be increasing some of the gta cash payouts throughout the game to reward players for their time regardless of what they choose to play with such a wide range of things to do in G2 Online, we believe that increasing these payouts will allow people greater freedom to do what they like and get what they want faster. Bodyguards, associates, and MC members will see payouts increase to encourage and reward uh, cooperative play along with increased GTA cash payouts across a variety of activities including greater payouts across races, adversary modes, and select heist uh, finales. So basically, guys... A lot of this stuff is coming from the community, what they want to see. Again, that PvP content that Rackstar suggests will be coming soon. Looks like we're going to be getting that in the upcoming update with nerfing the Oppressor Mark II. Another big one is, you know, do cell missions in an invite-only session. Again, I know a lot of players in the community wanted this and myself. I'm happy right now reading this from Rockstar Games. And again, there's more coming that we're just not aware of right now. Also, some we're going to be getting some bigger payouts with rewards for players that are playing G2 Online. So hopefully, these are better increasing rewards that make people want to do like the races, the ice finales and stuff like that. And it looks like Raxar does want to raise the payouts pretty big. So we will have to see what they have in store with that. So basically, the, the end of the newswire regarding the community update goes on with Red Dead Redemption and stuff like that. That will most likely cover in a video to come on the channel regarding that information. But I wanted to focus in today's video with the GTA update aspect that this this is update is confirmed by rockstar we're not really sure of a definite release date but we're looking at june 19th right now and with all this stuff brewing with rockstar games yesterday when i took this screenshot g2 online is trending with 5157 tweets with GTA 6 trending, of course, with 3,129 tweets. And I know why GTA 6 is trending, and I will talk about that 
in a video to come as well with of course actor James Cannon passes away at age 82 of course this is you know the headline for you know that happened yesterday again that sad man I love you know seeing this guy in the elf movie so again guys if you are excited for the upcoming G2 online update summer update 2022 make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos coming on the channel regarding this update and what Rackstar has in store again my name is GTA Pups here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.